So, is that all you need for a compart for a Negroni? Sure thing. Uh, we, we, uh, I think they introduced me wrong. I am not Martini, I am Red Vermouth. <laughs> So I'm out on the balcony editing videos. I, I'm sort of behind. I'm now editing, editing the video from when I and Christian were at that um, gay barge two, two days ago. So I really need to hunker down. And that will be easy because I can't really hang out with anyone. Martin is in Australia visiting his parrot in the south of Sweden. Magnus did not get Montezuma's revenge in Mexico, but he got it when he got home. So he's incapacitated. And Ulf, well, he's not hungover, he says. But he's going to meet some friends for dinner and he's sort of uh, poisoned. So I'll be a good boy today. And by the way, this is my vegan lunch. Look at that. Meatballs from Ikea, vegan meatballs. Uh, tomato, hummus I made myself and I'm, I'm really obsessed with sort of adding a lot of lemon, lemon zest and lemon juice to my hummus. So it was really tart and I love that. And this, mm. you know, if you put vegan mayo on anything, anything tastes good. I have been editing and editing and edi editing. It's five o'clock, and I just managed to edit the first day, the the day when Christian and I went to that um, gay barge. So I still have tomorrow to edit. I'll be editing editing all day, but I think it's time to do something constructive. No, well that's a constructive as well, but something else. So I think I'm gonna go and recycle some stuff. Example, I got this cardboard box and also got these two uh, shelves from the unit and they sort of both of them broke were well, here so I can't use them so I just have to recycle them and also there's plastic there's always plastic here we are people time to recycle and before you ch chastise me this is filled with carton so it's not air it doesn't take up unnecessary room these, well, there you go, or just regular basic garbage. Goodbye. Now, plastic. Oh, good, there's room. Okay, check this out, and then we'll see how much I will fill. There should be some sort of way to press it down, shouldn't there? Yes, I keep inventing things. Turns out it wasn't so bad. And this is the helium balloon that Christian and my son gave me on the surprise party they threw for me sometimes in the beginning of April. So it finally died. Rest in pieces. All these houses, one, two, three, four, that make up my block are exactly the same and different. Each one is different. Mine is the only one that have French balconies on that side of the building. Well, three flats on that side. And these are bigger apartments here. And these are almost the same, but they got... I, for example, have uh, my shower and, and bathroom towards the street. And people in... No, not in this room. But I think here, they have it on this side. I would have preferred that. Hmm. I'm, I, my, my apartment is nice, but I'm not crazy about it. There's a lot of... If someone said, we, we'll pay you to move, I would sort of say, give me the money and help me move. One thing I have up on everyone else is the French balcony in the, in the bedroom. That is great. So here you can see, we have... A fr I have... On the other side, because this is my building, I have a French balcony in the bath, uh, in the bedroom on that side. But they instead, hmm, this is weird. That must be the kitchen. So where I have my walk-in closet, they have, oh, I would have preferred that. 
Damn it. I just have to tell myself, I have a French balcony. I have a French balcony. I have a French balcony. Is that even the proper name for it? French balcony? I hope so. It's, 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 they say that in Swedish anyway. You know, where it's just sort of a door to nothing. Well, that you can't go out. You can just sort of stand there like, like a president or a famous person just waving. It's the weirdest smell here out in the hallway. It's like someone poured um, laundry detergent. Not the detergent, the, the other thing that smells, whatever it is. It's a really sort of almost stenchy smell. I almost tripped that. Well, that's me for now. It's time for, well, my, this might be dinner? Is it an early dinner or a really late lunch? I'm not sure. Anyway, macaroni, sausages, beans, and a lot of tomato ketchup. It's 10 o'clock. The sun has not yet set. It's really hot still. I've been spending the whole day out on the balcony just lounging, editing videos. I'm sort of in a daze. But, uh... I'm uh, editing video from the show yesterday and uploading them to my theatre site. I thought about doing a live later on about the show, but I think I'll do that tomorrow. And um, how about a cocktail, possibly? Okay, people, I've been doing this all day, so now I need to do something completely different. So I thought I'd make myself a Negroni cocktail, but I thought I'd make it puppet style. What? Yeah, puppet style. You'll see. Okay, people, here goes nothing. I need to do something completely ridiculous to just sort of blow out my mind. So here we go. I wish I had a drink. I am so thirsty. Oh, well, maybe you need a Negroni. Who said that? It's me, your old friend, the Gin Bottle. Oh, hello, Mr. Gin Bottle. I'd like a Negroni, please, if I can. What do I need to make a Negroni? Well, you need one part gin. OK, I've got that. And then you need a glass and two big ice cubes and some frozen orange. OK. You mean like this? Yes. But is that all you need to make a Negroni gin? No, of course not. But let's start with the gin. You take one part gin. OK. One part gin. That's easy, easy to do. Let's see, I'm doing it off camera here, but I can show you later on. Is that okay, Mr. Bottle? Gin Bottle? Uh, yes, it is. It's, it's quite okay. Okay, so what do we need? What more do we need? Well, let me introduce you to my friend Campari. Hello, Mr. Campari. You take one part Campari. You take... You take one part Campari, or from me, I am French, I think. Okay, we'll do. Ah, oh, this sounds great. Okay, so now I got one part Campari. Oui, oui. No, oui, oui. And one part gin. Yeah, sure, you do. I'm American, suddenly. Do I need anything else? Well, you do. You need, you need a uh, martini. And that's Italian, I think. Or is Campari? I don't know. But we pretend it's Italian. One part red martini. Okay. Oh, bonjour. Uh, salut, mi Italiano, Mr. Martini bottle. Oh, I will take one part of you. Uh, okay. Something in Italian. That's French, isn't it? Uh, Radori. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, you take a piece of meat and put it in a bottle. So, is that all you need for a, for a Negroni? Sure thing. Uh, oui, oui. Uh, 
I think they introduced me wrong. I am not Martini. I am Red Vermouth. They said wrong thing. It's the label. It's Martini, but the drink is called Red Vermouth. Okay, everybody. Thank you ever so much. Now I will drink this tasty drink. Oh, this is really good. And it smells fantastic. You are my best friends. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.